Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make the felt wedge plushies, so let's get started. The supplies that you're going to need will be grid paper, pencil, and a ruler. Then you're going to need some white and black felt and sewing supplies and some 3D paint for decorations. So to make the pattern, you have to make the 0, 4, and 8 centimeter measurements. And from the 4 centimeter mark, you're going to go up by 7 centimeters. You're going to join that spot to the 0 and then draw a line along the bottom. And then you're just going to create a curve on the side for the wedge pattern. Now to trace your pattern onto your felt, the easiest way that I find to do it is to take a very thin non-permanent marker and just go ahead and draw your designs onto the felt and then I take very sharp scissors that I use only for fabric just to cut out my pieces. To make the black detailing on the onigiri, you're going to take a piece of paper and draw a 4 by 6 centimeter rectangle and then just trace that onto your black felt and for that I use a white fabric marker and the way it works is you sketch the shape of your pattern and then after a couple of seconds the white kind of develops on your fabric as you can see there. So once that shows up you're just going to go ahead and cut it out with your scissors again. And then the only last thing for um, felt that you need to do is cut out one centimeter thick strips. That'll be the length of the straight sides of the wedges and one that'll fit the curved side as well. To put your plush together all you need to do is put your pieces one on top of the other, take some thread and then you just want to stitch it together along the edges. As you can see here all I'm doing is just using a very basic stitching. Once you get to the end of one side, you're going to want to do the curved edge and you're going to use the same stitch for this piece as well, but the only thing you have to do is reposition the thinner piece every now and then because you're following a curve, you want to make sure that it keeps this shape after you stuff your plush. When you get to the edge of the curved piece, what you're going to do is trim any excess felt and then you're going to layer the two thin sides together and just stitch up along the side there. Once you have the bottom section done with all three sides, you're going to take the top piece and align it along the curved and one of the straight edges and sew along those two sides. Once you have that done, you're going to take the black piece and some black thread and you're just going to align it in the middle along the curved side and you're just going to stitch it into place. As you can see, I'm using the exact same stitch as before, but now you just want to make sure that you're sewing the black onto the white. So if you look underneath, you should see the threading inside your plush. You can put it into place if you'd like and then just sew all around the edges. When you get to the bottom, you're going to stretch the fabric a little bit, making sure that it's still aligned in the back and sew along the edges. Now to stuff your plushie, you can either use regular polyfill stuffing or this flattened thing that I think is called body. And all I did was I trimmed it to the right shape and then just put in a few layers inside each plushie. So once you're happy with the way your plush is stuffed, you're going to take a little bit more white thread and just sew shut the last open side. To finish off your plushie, you're just going to take some 3D paint and add on some details. And I'm using brown for the eyes and light pink for a little blush on its cheeks. So here you can see the finished plushie after the paint has dried and if you're interested in knowing how to make the rest of the designs please check out the description box below and thank you so much for watching i hope you liked the tutorial and i'll talk to you soon bye